And welcome back to Primetime Sports Tuesday. Jamaica's reggae girls will face Nottingham Forest women on Sunday in their first game since their qualification to the World Cup in France. As we hear in this report from Karen Madden, the game in Nottingham, England is being hosted in honor of the Windrush generation. It's more than football. That's the view of the UK High Commissioner to Jamaica, Asif Ahmad, as the reggae girls head to Nottingham on Wednesday. The team and their support staff were hosted by the UK High Commission at a reception on Monday evening. The reception was attended by four of the six local-based players who will make the trip to England. And while the UK High Commission helped to clear the path for the team to play in England, Ahmad argued that this weekend's game is more than sports. Well, it's a recognition that we have strong links, and they're not just historical links. Uh, it's, it's alive and kicking now. There are about uh, 800,000 people of Jamaican heritage living in the UK, and some 200,000 who come this way. So there are about a million interactions uh, a year. And I think it has to go beyond the usual thing of people visiting for family and friends. I think there are business opportunities, there are uh, opportunities for sport, which is not just a, a spectacle for people to enjoy. It, there's a big sports industry behind all of this. You know, sports needs money and we need television coverage like yours to promote the sport. But when all of that comes together, it's a big boost to the economy. JFF President Michael Ricketts gave details of the immediate assignment for the reggae girls. Well, we, we are really excited at the prospects of what will unfold after our qualifications. <clears throat> but like I said, we leave on Wednesday to Nottingham first and we play a game as part of this Windrush celebration. And uh, we play on Wednesday, on Sunday rather, we leave on Wednesday, we play on Sunday. Then afterwards, I think the next big event is the draw in France, December 8th. Then we'll know who we play and where we play. Assistant coach Andrew Price spoke of his expectation for the team in England. Well, the expectation is for the girls to go out there and enjoy themselves and show their potential. Um, going to a World Cup, you need to have at least a cadre of 40 to 50 players that you can choose from because along the way of preparation, you might have injuries or for whatever reasons, ladies might not be able to make the final 23. So we want to give as much young ladies the exposure and the opportunity to make that final squad. So it's a good occasion for these ladies to go to Nottingham Forest, play against them and show their work there. Meanwhile, goalkeeper Christian Chambers is thankful for the opportunity as several of her teammates will have their first experience playing in Europe. Well, I think that we would be able to put on a, a good performance for the Jamaicans that hopefully will be out there to support us. Um, so I think that it would be great to, a great form of celebration, you know, after qualifying to just get out and let the diaspora see us. The local-based players to make the trip are the Arnett Gardens trio of Shanice Foster, who was a part of the CONCACAF Championship, Chanel Spence and Talisa Campbell, as well as Christian Chambers of UWI and Tariana Clark of Waterhouse. They will be joined by Chinyelu Asher, Alison Swaby, Marla Sweatman, Lauren Silva, Sashana Campbell and Christina Chang, all part of the CONCACAF Championship. They will be shored up by players drawn from the youth teams as several of the players who went to CONCACAF Championships will not be released by their clubs and colleges. Karen Madden, TBJ Sports.